Group A Streptococcus, also known as GAS, can cause infections due to a type of bacteria that are often found in people's throat and on their skin. People may carry GAS in these parts of the body and have no symptoms of illness. Most GAS infections are relatively mild illnesses, such as strep throat or impetigo. However, occasionally these bacteria can cause severe and even life-threatening diseases. These severe GAS infections may occur when the bacteria gets into parts of the body where it is usually not found. These areas include the blood, muscles, or the lungs. These infections are termed invasive GAS disease. Two of the most severe, but least common, forms of invasive GAS disease are necrotizing fasciitis and streptococcal toxic shock syndrome. Necrotizing fasciitis, also known as flesh-eating bacteria, is a rapidly progressive disease which destroys muscles, fat, and skin tissue. Streptococcal toxic shock syndrome, or STSS, is yet another condition. With STSS, people can experience a rapid drop in blood pressure and organs such as the kidney, liver, and lungs may fail. STSS is not the same as the toxic shock syndrome due to the bacteria Staphylococcus aureus, which has been associated with tampon usage. While 10 to 15 percent of patients with invasive GAS disease die from their infection, approximately 25 percent of patients with necrotizing fasciitis and more than 35 percent with STSS die. GAS is typically spread through direct contact with mucus from the nose or throat of persons who are infected or through contact with infected wounds or sores on the skin. Ill persons, such as those who have strep throat or skin infections, are most likely to spread the infection. People who carry the bacteria but have no symptoms are much less contagious. The spread of all types of GAS infections can be reduced by good hand washing and hygiene procedures, especially after coughing and sneezing and before preparing foods or eating. To learn more about microbial pathogens and infection control or other health and safety and indoor environmental issues, please visit the website shown on the screen. IAQ-TV, the place to be.